Hunsler Garage. Today we're going to be talking about uh, tuning your boosted factory snowmobile. We have our Polaris Boost here, our Skidoo factory turbo here. Um, the only real two mountain turbos from the come from the factory. Been a lot of talk about tuners, which tuner, and so we're just going to do a, a video, just kind of go over the tuners that are available as of right now kind of what the differences are. Really, there's only four. There's a new one that's coming to the market, so there's kind of five this year. Uh, but we're gonna go over each one, kind of what the features are, kind of a basic review. So if, you, if you're looking for a tuner this year to tune your sled, whether it's a Polaris or a Skidoo, you kind of have some background information about what each one offers and how easy it is to tune with their product. And then what other things each tuner offers that will help you make that decision. So we're gonna start right now just going over um, Torque Link. There's one option, comes with a box with a little tuner inside, uh, Ibex, the goat tuner, a little box with that stuff inside, and then map tuner also comes with their product. The other option we have is silver. Uh, silver doesn't really have a tuner, you just use your computer, but you do have to buy flashing cables for to flash with their thing, so you do have to buy something from them, you just don't get a tuning box from them because you use your computer for it. If we're gonna do this, you need to know how to plug this stuff in, so we're just gonna show you real quick where to plug into the factory port on your uh, machine just to kind of see if you're going to do this where that is and what uh, you have to plug into for each machine to do that. Now with most of these tuners you're going to have to have a 12 volt battery um, to get power up this whole system and so that's one thing you're going to have to think about so if you want to tune in at home you're going to have to have a 12 volt battery available if you're tuning out on the mountain you're going to have to do that tune. Only some of these tuners you can tune on the mountain without Wi-Fi and a couple of them you can so uh, if that's important to you pay attention to that. Oh. We got our clutch side panel off our boost. If you go back in here, right here, there's a piece right here that just, it just plugs into a dummy plug here and you gotta push down on that with your thumb and that just unplugs like that. So that's where we're gonna be plugging into to tune this thing when it comes time to tune it. And then there's the if you come in here, we got the opposite side panel off as the Polaris, we got the exhaust side panel off. Kind of the same thing over here, we got this dummy plug here that's not plugged into anything, it's plugged into a rubber boot and that just unplugs and that is what we are going to plug in our port to when we tune this machine. We're just going to plug into this. Okay, now this we're is... going to look at silver first. There's a couple of things you have to be aware of here. You have to buy a license and the tuning hardware that goes with this. And you can either buy both at once in one package. And to do that, you're going to go up here. This is off the cell phone menu. The desktop menu looks a little bit different, but go up to the menu. And you're going to go to this and then click on whichever one you want. We're going to look at ski -Doo and Ski-Doo Factory Turbo. So this is their Ski-Doo 850 Performance Turbo Reflash, $430. That comes with the all the cables you're gonna need to flash this. It also comes with the license to flash one snowmobile. Okay, now that's the first part of this. You're gonna need that. Second part of this, you're gonna have to download their software to your computer in order to get this to download to your sled. Now if we go back to the menu, at the very bottom of the menu is tech. So you want to go, to go into tech. Now if you're going to buy a silver setup, I would suggest going to this tech part first. We're going to go into the remote flash instructions and forms. So you're going to want to take a look at this section here. And you're going to want to read, scroll down and read through this whole thing. This is not just a one time, a one purchase process. Um, there's some emails that go back and forth with you and silver to get some of the flash and things and to get this set up. But there's a number of things you have to do with this before you can flash your sled. So the one thing you have to be aware of if you're going to buy the silver setup is your tunes are downloaded into your computer. You can't change them to another computer once they're in your computer. They're part of your computer. If you lose your computer, your computer clock crashes, you lose your tunes and you have to call silver and you go down here and if you, it says if you lose your computer, um, there's another setup fee for $150 to get your tunes back. It's just part of it. Anyway, so that's silver. If you're going to go to your dealer and have silver flash your machine, none of this really matters because they're going to have all you're going to have to buy from your dealer. If your dealer is going to do it for you, is you're just going to have to pay the $299 fee for the flash itself. That's the silver stuff. It's pretty basic going over it, but you do need a computer, you do need Wi-Fi, and uh, you do need the cables to do this and the and the license for your specific machine. Now let's move on to the next one, which we'll look at is Torque Link. All right, now we're going to show you how to tune a sled with Torque Link. Pretty simple. When you first buy your tune, you have to go to the Torque Link website. Don't go to the bike one website because they're two different companies. Go to the Torque Link website. Up here in the center, there's a setup tab up here at the very top screen. It'll bring you to this setup instructions. This will help you set up the program into your computer to download your tunes into it. 
So once you have your tunes downloaded, you can go to the app, which is right here. My app's open. And this is my Skidoo 850 tunes. Uh, everything's in here. Now you're going to get this little torque link box. It has one wire that's going to go to your computer. This wire goes to power. And then the other wire we have to plug into our snowmobile where we showed you before over on this link right here. So we're going to plug everything in. And then let's bring in the camera and we will show you how to tune this. Okay, so the first screen this takes you to is it tells you everything's connected up appropriately. So we'll go to the next one. I have some tunes in here for Articat and also Skidoo. So we're going to click on Skidoo. We're going to connect to our Skidoo. This connects you to the ECU of the machine. One of the things you have to remember to do, you have to have your DES plug unplugged in order to tune, and you have to have your shot capacitors full if you have shot. This is going to bring you to my tune list. There's probably 10 or 15 different tunes in here, um, high horsepower, high octane tunes, and then the, the pump gas stuff. We're going to go and put in the stage, the stage 3 tune in this, which I won't kind of jump between the stage 2 and stage 3 tune most of last year. This is the 30 horsepower pump gas tune. Everything is hooked up. Um, my DES key is unplugged, and so we should be good to go. So we're going to push flash ECU. And what's going to happen, we're going to get some lights flashing, a bar moving across, the tunes being downloaded into my ECU. Uh, everything looks like it's going to be a good download. Sometimes I get an error code, and I've either forgotten to unplug my DES key, or my shot isn't charged all the way, so the tune won't work. The one I forget the most is to unplug my DES key when I tune this, and so I get the error code, and I have to unplug it and do it again. But you can see it tunes up pretty quickly. And when this gets all the way across, it'll tell you that's 100% finished and that you can go ride your snowmobile. All right, now we're done. If you can see in here, it tells us uh, successful flash or 100% flashed. We're going to go over here. We're going to unplug this, put this back up into here, into the little plug where it goes. We're good to go ride this thing. Now we're going to move on. We're going to show you how to tune with the Ibex tuner. All right, so now we're here with my friend Patrick. This is his Skidoo 850 Turbo. We have the GOAT tuner from Ibex, greatest of all time tuner, I guess that's what it's called. That's right. And uh, so we're going to show you how this works, what comes in the box, and how to tune a sled real quick so you kind of get an idea what you're getting if you get this product. So, Perfect. Um, so what comes, when you buy this tuner from Ibex, what comes in it? Yeah. What do you get? Yeah, that's a great question. So. Um, it comes in this case. I love this case. And then it comes with the actual tuner itself. And it also comes with all your hookups to jump into any 12-volt okay. battery. So. so in order to tune with this, you have to have a 12-volt battery, correct? Correct. It can be the 12-volt battery on your sled if you have electric start, on your buddy's sled that has electric start, or right. you can carry your own little 12-volt battery source. But correct. if you don't have a 12-volt battery on the mountain, you're not tuning anything. Is That's that right, okay? yeah. All right. Yep. So what do you use to tune on the mountain with it? What battery do you use? Yeah, yeah. So I just use a small um, battery right from Milwaukee. You're able to plug into the, the positive and negative on the mountain. This one's smaller. Using your little battery out of your, out of your Milwaukee drill isn't something Ibex tells you to do. It's just something <laughs> we found works pretty good. And yeah. we'll show you how that plugs into that. So if you want to do it, it's a pretty cool way to do it. So we're going to bring you in close. We're going to hook up, show you how to hook up all the wires, how to hook up this little battery, then how to tune real quick with the goat tuner. Okay, now we're just going to show kind of how all this hooks up. So you got your uh, positive and negative here. Um, what I've done is I've just able to plug in here, plug in right here into the that's negative. Kind of, a, I never would have thought to do that or known how to do it, but that's pretty cool. So you can use a big battery or the little small battery. Yep. And then right here you've got the pin connector and it's just going to go right into the base of the goat. That's the tuner. other end of the wire, your goat wire. Yes, sir. All right. All right. That's right. And then the last thing, we need to plug this into our sled so we can uh, get communication with our computer and our snowmobile. So that, and then that just plugs in there. And that's all it is as far as hooking this up. And then it brings up this screen with a bunch with a menu on it. Yeah. So on this, um, when you receive the tuner, a couple things that you're going to want to do is make sure you set up the Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi before anything, because it's going to so need a, to download. there's a Wi-Fi in the menu, right? Yes. And it's just right here, a second one up from the bottom. You just click on that. And then you're going to connect it to whatever Wi-Fi source like that you your, have. Your house Wi-Fi or whatever. Even your phone. So, okay. yep. The hotspot on your phone. You've yes, done sir. That. Okay. Yep. So you could get it that way. So and once then, you have Wi-Fi hooked up, what's your next step for getting your tunes? Yep. And then we're going to go right here to the download piece. Okay. So the download. And then we're going to choose Skidoo because we have a Skidoo here. Give it just a second here. 
there it is. So it's going to show our part, our serial number, and the available ECU licensed. So and that's the license you paid for that's specific to your machine. That's correct. Now we're going to come to continue. It's going to check for available files that are on the unit. Now it's doing this all through Wi-Fi, so there's no reason to ever need to hook this up to a computer, right? That's right. So that's all the available tunes for this machine. Now you can download any of those tunes in this machine, right, just by clicking on it? Yep. So let's just see what happens. Let's tune one. Why don't we download your favorite tune that you used most last year? Yeah. Which was perfect. what? Yeah, the Gold 30. Okay. Gold 30 and was... And you ran that at what elevation? 10,000. 10,000 10, 10, yeah. feet mostly. And yep. Did you run race gas with it or just pump gas? I did. Yeah, I ran a race gas uh, mixture, 93. See how easy this is to tune. So click on the 30, and then it brings you this screen. And that's we just, well, we just want to confirm that that's the one we want to go with, and then this just bar will move across as it tunes, correct? That's right. And then as soon as the bar's all the way across, we're done and we're tuned. Yes, sir. And that's it. And there it goes. So not too long. No. We should see everything turn off. All right, so flashing's complete. We got our 30 horsepower tune in this. Anyway, that's as simple as it is running this with IBEX. So the IBEX is the only one that you don't have to use a computer with. It's all done through Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. You can tune on the mountain as long as you have a battery, a 12 volt battery source. Now you can tune, as we saw in there, you can tune Polaris, Articat, whatever, as long as you buy tunes for whatever your respective snowmobile is, so which is Nice that they have tunes for a bunch of different things. Yeah. So check with IBEX if you have a question about what they have tunes for and specifics about tunes. And uh, pretty cool little setup. Yeah, not bad. We All like right. it. Now we need to go out, get out on the mountain. We'll test this compared to some other tunes from uh, Bikeman, a map tuner, maybe even Silver this year. So All right, now that we've been through the Silver tunes, the Torque Link tunes, and the IBEX tunes, we're going to end up with the map tuner, which is a pretty cool little tuner because it's got, it's got the most other features other than just tuning your sled. You're gonna get a little box like this, it's not huge. You can order these direct from their website. They are in Scandinavia, I think in Sweden. And so it takes a little bit of time to get here, but really I got this probably in less than one week when I bought it. There are a few other dealers in the United States and Canada that also sell these in. So anyway, you're gonna get this out of the box when you first get this. And like the Torque Link tune, you're gonna to need to download the Map Tuner program and onto your computer. Once you've downloaded the Map Tuner program, you're going to create a username and a password to log into your site that's going to have your tunes on it. And then we plug in one end of this cord into our map tuner. We're going to plug the other USB port into our computer. And then you're going to see our map tuner screen light up and say that they're connected. And then the first thing we want to do, we need to synchronize our program on our computer with our map tuner box. And what that's going to do, that's going to download all the tunes that you've purchased from your program on your computer into this box. That way they're stored in here. You can take them wherever you want. You don't need a computer. You don't need Wi-Fi to uh, tune your snowmobile wherever you're at. So we're just going to push synchronize. And what that's going to do is it's going to start this bar graph here. And then it's just going to start downloading our programs into our box. And so it just takes a couple of minutes for it to do that. So, I mean, it takes a little bit longer to download the first download from your computer into this just because it's downloading a lot of information, six or eight tunes or something that I'd have stored in here into this. And so this is going to take longer than when you're tuning your sled. When you're tuning your sled, you're only downloading one tune from this into this. So this is going to take just a, a few minutes. When you download your sled, it's going to take maybe one minute. So when you're finished, it's going to say you're complete. You can push OK. And then we're completely, we can disconnect this from the computer and we don't need the computer anymore. We can put that aside. And so the next thing we're going to do, we need to plug in our other cords that come with our map tuner into our machine. We're going to have this cord that's plugged in here like the other machines. We're going to have our 12 volt battery. And then there's one other cord, this uh, HDMI cable that's going to plug into our map tuner. And that just plugs into the bottom here. And when that plugs in, it's going to power everything up. And there we go. And now we have all of our apps on here. They have different apps you can buy that can do different things. It's going to be downloaded with a few, with a couple apps, your program app. Um, it's going to have your diagnosis app. 
We're just going to show you how to program. So if you just go to the, the program button, tap on that, and it's going to go into our program page. Now this is going to bring up all the tunes I have for this vehicle. And if I scroll down here, there's a bunch of different tunes. I'm just going to go, let's just put in stage one and we'll push next. And this is it's just going to give you some information on the tune you're doing. Um, going to increase the lev rev limit to 8300. Um, tells you what fuel you're going to have to run premium, which they consider 91 octane. And then some optional parts, you can use the stock, the stock exhaust or a performance aftermarket pipe with stage one. That's all we're going to need. Then we're just going to click download. And it says, do you wish to continue to tune your vehicle? Yes. So this also tells you to remember to turn your kill switch off and have your DES key removed. So we're going to push OK. And then it's going to, it's going to start programming. And you're going to see the green line is going to start slowly going across as this programs. Okay, super cool. You can see how fast that downloaded the program into my sled. It says programming complete. I'm going to push OK. Then I'm going to push next, and it's going to take me to the home screen, and then we're done. We can unhook all this, and we can go writing. Now, this the great thing about this is you don't need Wi-Fi to download. You don't need a computer to download. All you need is a 12-volt battery source. And so let's look at a couple of the other really cool functions I like with this. So if we go into uh, monitoring, Monitoring is one of the really, it's going to show you the monitors of all your engine functions. And all this, we have exhaust temperature, we have belt temperature, we have air intake temperature, exhaust uh, pressure, wastegate, how far it's open. I mean, a lot of different things we can scroll through, RPM, throttle position, a lot of really cool things you can monitor. And if you want, they make a rubber housing for this, so you can mount this on your sled. If you really want to see what's going on in your engine as you're riding, you can see your manifold pressure and everything. So, really cool feature is the, the monitoring thing. You can push this button and data log all that stuff while you're writing if you're trying to tune something. Um, the one I really like is service button. If we go into service, we can push fault code. So if you have a fault code, you can go in here. That's the one fault code I have. It's ECU control module programming. It's going to show up a fault code because I have an, a program that's in there that's not the stock program. And so that's the only fault code that I have. And so the other really cool thing I like about this is the DESS keys. You can click on this one. You can program your own DES key. So if you want multiple keys for your machine, program your own. You don't have to take it to a dealer and do it. All you do is you buy one of these packs that has a key in it. I bought this off Amazon. I think it was like 65 bucks. Um, you can program this into your machine. The nice thing about this is I've got like six friends that we all write together, our skidoos. We program all of our keys the same. And then we have one extra key that someone puts in their backpack or a couple of extra keys you put in the backpack because you never know when you're riding, fall off your sled, you roll your sled over, your key gets lost because you forgot to hook the tether to you. You know, you lose a key out on the mountain and you're pretty hosed because you're not going to get out. But if your friend's sleds are all tuned to your sled and you can use the same key in every, in every machine, that way you can get your at least one machine out by trading keys back and forth. Or if you have an extra key, it's really convenient to have. So the, Program the DES key is a really cool feature. There's a number of other features on here that you can buy apps for. You can do different things. So a really cool little unit. I really like it. Now to finish up this video, we're going to go over to the board and we're going to kind of go over what each of these features it has and what each of one of them costs. So when you're looking at buying one of these, you kind of know what you're getting for your money. We're going to go through each of the four tunes, Silver, Torque Link, Map Tuner, and Ibex, kind of show you the features that each one has and how much each one's going to cost to flash one machine and then how much is going to cost for each additional flash if you want to flash your friends machines or whatever. Silver is the least expensive to get into. $430 comes with everything you need to flash one machine. That comes with your flashing cable. You have to supply the computer and the Wi-Fi. Um, each additional tune is 300 bucks. And the next one down, Torque Link. To flash one machine, if you're going to be into it, your flash uh, software and your flashing tool, 750 each additional flash is $450. Ibex, a step up from that one, the hardware and the tune is $800, and each additional tune is $410. Map Tuner X, since it has a lot more features, it's going to be a little bit more expensive to get into, just a little over $1,100 for the complete package, all your wires, your tuner, and then $580 for each tune after that. $430, $750, $800, $1,100. That's for everything you need to tune one machine.
Okay, so let's look at these. Do you need a computer to flash your machine? Silver, yes. Torque Link, yes. Ibex, no. Map Tuner, no. Now these two, you're gonna need a computer to begin with to download your stuff, but once it's downloaded, you can tune your machine without a computer. Do you need Wi-Fi to flash your tune in? Yes, yes, no, no. Which that brings us to the next one. Can you tune on the mountain? Like if you're on the mountain riding, you're somewhere staying in a cabin, or in some small town that you don't really have Wi-Fi, can you tune outside of Wi-Fi? Um, no, no, yes, yes. You can tune anywhere with Ibex, a map tuner, as long as you have your 12-volt battery source and your hardware that you bought from them. 12-volt battery, each one of these is going to need a 12-volt battery to tune your machine. Where you get that's kind of up to you. You have an extra car battery sitting around. You use your tool battery like we showed you, the Milwaukee battery or whatever. This is where it starts getting, this is where the map tuner starts to be more worth the money because it's got a lot of stuff. This is only a few of the extra things you can do with map tuner. Can you program a DES key with any of these others? No, 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 yes. Um, can you diagnose your machine? Do you use any of these others um, have diagnostic properties where you can look up your codes on your machine and read your codes? No, 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 yes. Can you data log with any of these? Um, there's only two you can data log with. Ibex, yes. Map Tuner, yes. Silver and Torque Link, no, you can't down, you can't data log. And the last one I put on, can you monitor your engine functions? Can you see your RPM? Can you see how much boost your machine's making? Can you see your air intake temperature? All those other kind of cool features that you can want to monitor on your engine if you're kind of looking to see what your engine's doing. The only one that does that is Map Tuner. All these others are no, no, no. So. Really, what is the best one for you? I can't tell you. I really like the Map Food Tuner because I love all these other little cool features. And there's a whole bunch more. You're just going to have to look at their website to see what the other apps are you can put on yours. And if you've got a bunch of friends that want to buy this together, it makes sense, especially if you're traveling somewhere to, to do your sled rides. If you're out somewhere and you need an extra DES key, super cool to have this. If you throw a code on your Skidoo Factory Turbo, you're out for a week-long trip. There's no place around to really take it. You can look up your code, see what it is, and then you might be able to get a part from a nearby um, Skidoo shop. So it's a lot of really cool features on the Map Tuner if you want to spend the extra couple hundred bucks on it. Now what this really comes down to is I've ridden with sleds with each one of these tunes on them. Stage two and stage three is most of what we used last year. They run really good. The one Achilles heel of any of these tunes is going to be how well it's clutched. A crappy clutch kit or a not clutched well machine, any of these tunes are going to run like crap. So you have to know what you're doing tuning to put this in, or you have to um, buy the clutching that goes with your machine that's going to help it to get the power that your engine's making through the clutches efficiently to your track. So that's one important thing. The next thing that can make one of these tunes not run very good is your uh, factory exhaust. If you're trying to run stage three for factory exhaust, not going to work. You're going to have some problems. Or if you'd have a, a aftermarket exhaust can that's not made to use with one of these tunes, some of them run badly. And I've heard a lot of different stories about one can running worse than others with any of the tunes. So um, if you buy one of these, ask the person you buy the tune from, whether it's Silver, Ibex, Map Tuner, what exhaust can they recommend to use for their machine. They've had it on the dyno, they've had them out on the snow. They know what can is best for their machine. Or I also ask them which clutch kit is best and how they're going to clutch it. Now, one thing you have to be aware of, unfortunately right now, Map Tuner only has tunes for Skidoo. They're building maps right now for the Polaris Boost. Hopefully they'll have some by the first of the year, so that would be cool because um, I have a Polaris Boost. It'd be awesome to be able to try some tunes on it. The one last thing I'm going to talk to you about is these three up here, Silver, Torquely, and Ibex, all have a stage one, two, three, and four, 10, 20, 30 and 40 horsepower tunes. 10 horsepower, I don't know why you'd spend this money, avoid your factor warranty for 10 horsepower, it's kind of a waste of money. So um, I've used Torque Link and I've used Map Tuner on their 30 horsepower tunes, which those two I know at 10,000 feet run good on straight 91 pump gas. I don't know, I don't have as much experience with these other two. You're just gonna have to ask the people that sell you these, Silver or Nibex, what they recommend for fuel. But Anyway, I hope this helps you when you're picking out a tuner for your machine. We're going to get some on-snow testing this year, comparing some of these. 
If you have any more questions about these, you know, message me. So that's it for the tuners. Tuners are great, best power adders for anything you can ever buy for a snowmobile because it's so easy to add 20, 30 horsepower to a machine. We've never had anything like this before. Super cool technology. I'm just going to leave with mentioning one thing. There's a new tuner out there. I saw at Hades. I saw again today when I was at the Utah Snowmobile Show. It's called Easy Link. Now, these guys have been around since 2015 tuning uh, diesel trucks and cars. Um, I have a lot of friends that have used this to tune their diesel truck with that have had phenomenal success. Um, they're just getting into the power sports industry, just getting into snowmobiles. The downside with these guys right now is they don't make their own tunes. All they sell is the hardware. And there's no one right now building tunes for these that has tunes available. The only one I've seen advertised is Speedworks is advertising that they will have tunes for it coming up this year. But so far, they're the only ones. But Easy Link, look for them in the future. Pretty cool technology. Um, right now, I really love the Map Tuner. It's my favorite one. I, I can highly recommend the Map Tuner just because of the other really cool things it has. If you're never going to do anything else, you just want your machine tuned, you can find a dealer that will tune it for you so you don't have to buy this all this other stuff. You can just buy the tune for three or $400 and have your dealer tune it for you so you don't have to buy the hardware. That's another option. These new snowmobiles we're having are so cool. The factory turbo sleds are amazing. I'm so glad that the aftermarket turbo kit days are over um, because the last two years I've spent on the Polaris Boost and on the Skidoo factory turbo, those two sleds have just run phenomenal, straight out of the box, have plenty of power, super fun to ride, and the, they just run so much better than any aftermarket turbo I've ever ridden. So um, be safe out there on the snow. Um, keep liking the videos, sharing them, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time at Mountain Slayer Garage.